an initiative to encourage and motivate single mothers as they journey into the world of entrepreneurship is what training consultant Fabian Isaac says is the rationale behind the just concluded coaching session for over 30 single and vulnerable mothers organized by the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF. The Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment started the pilot initiative in October 2022. 34 single mothers residing in the north and south of St. Lucia underwent basic business management training for four weeks. Following this, they were mentored and monitored by officials of the ministry who acknowledged the program's successes. A number of the participants from the south have already launched their businesses. They have gotten off the ground without any hitches. They have gone through the process of business registration and they have started implementing a lot of the things that they have learned during the course of the training program. A host of distinguished speakers, including outstanding women in entrepreneurship, shared their personal experiences and inspiring words with the participants and commended the ongoing initiative. I think the program is excellent and it's something that should be continued um, because it gives hope and inspiration to single mothers and encourages them to see entrepreneurship as a very real possibility and an opportunity. Antonio Vidal owns and manages a baking business. The Denry resident says the support she received from the SSDF has given her the hope to succeed. Without SSDF, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I, will, I want to applaud them for putting me in this program where I can see myself going forward to a brighter future because without them, I probably would have a little plan, but I wouldn't be able to move forward as I, as I am right now with the help that they have given me. The program intends to build capacity for single and vulnerable mothers to move towards entrepreneurship while ensuring their businesses remain sustainable. This support gives them economic independence, thus making it easier to care for themselves and their families. Marvin St. Louis, reporting from the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment.